Okay guys, here's our timber frame components for our porches. Here's the, the 8 by 14 Douglas firs. There's the mortise. I got two of them because there's two porches. I got four uh, posts here. Also Douglas fir. Actually two of them are Douglas fir, two of them are Eastern larch. So uh, here's our tenons on there. So we got to drill the peg holes still in the tenons. Well, I'm going to draw bore them in a little bit. So here that is. I'll show you the porches on the camp that we're going to be working on. This is the camp we built. We've been letting it sit and dry. Back, Getting back over here now. So this is our concrete porch in the front. We're basically going to drill some pinholes in the floor here in the concrete. Stick our posts up. Our carrying beam is going to go across the top of here and that's going to hold the porch up it's a 15 foot span so that's why we got those big heavy douglas fir timbers take you to the back back porch is the same width as the front porch except we are a lot further out with this porch this is 16 foot out so this is going to be this porch same thing carrying beam is going to post going to be here Carrying beam down to that side and it's also a 15 foot span so that's where the big Douglas firs that are 8 by 14 are going to support this thing. So that's what we're going to do today. We got to get our holes drilled here and here, put a piece of pipe in there and then we can put the timbers on there and set the carrying beam. That's the goal for today. Get the porch post and carrying beam up. Stay with us. Okay guys, so we got, we drove a piece of uh, black iron pipe down in the concrete about four inches and we got, here's our beam right here and we're going to put it on there, right on the pin. Hold on, hold on, hold on, you got to take it away from the pin. You're losing, your, stop, you're losing your uh, ice guard. There, okay. Put it right in there. A little bit not quite lined up. Maybe towards you. You want to stand it up, Jay? Stand yeah, it up. I got it. Just line it up. Don't get your hands underneath. Don't get your hands under. You're good. Right. Right. Now, move your hand. I'm holding the ice guard up. Okay. Go down gently. Down so. It's liable to fall right now. Yeah, I would just move your hands. Put use something else to hold the ice guard. Oh, stop. He just smushed the ice guard. That's I didn't want to smush his hand though. Start it down. Pick it up. We gotta stick them on better. So here's the beam, guys. Did you get her to a boat? Doesn't seem like it's down all the way. Do our tappy tap. Or wiggle it. Oh, we'll get a hammer and beat it down. That's the idea, guys. That's what we're doing. That oh, might be sitting on there. Once we get some weight on it. I'm gonna go grab the block. What's that? We'll be the guns of the show. The guns of the show. Alright, we got two sweatshirts on the forks, so we're not damaging our beans here. Our beautiful Douglas fir. That thing is heavy, Tuna. Use your legs when you lift it. You might want to push this one over a little bit. Give yourself some room. Pull it, push that one this way a little bit. There you go. Then you got a little more room to stand there. Might want to bring the tractor a little more closer. I think you can get that, can't you? On all your. I'm gonna be leaning over the side of the truck. Oh yeah. It so it sets on that other fork. Okay. I can move over to the. They're here, boys. I think 
we're good. We're pretty good. You guys can kind of just balance it as we go here. There it is. We got her, guys. We got her set right there. Looking good. made these uh, pens out of ash. We didn't drive them right through there, straight grained ash. Stop. There we 
are the boys are putting up the rafters. I'm cutting them. That's how we're doing it. They're tuning up high. You're looking good. I'll give you a little view of it back here. That's what she's gonna look like. Oh, rough cut hemlock. Hey guys, here we and me and Tuna getting these rafters up today all by ourselves. I was cutting them and then we were both handing them up. Tuna's up there putting some timber link screws in. Show them those screws you're putting in there. Hold on. I can't zoom in. They're about big four inch screws, heavy duty screws. And he's screwing them right in the ends. We put three. Actually, I'll take you right up there and show you. We put three of them bad boys. Right in each stud, every 16 inches. And then Tony's putting three in here from the back side. Because this is a big porch. 14 by 17. It's got the potential to hold a fair amount of snow. So let me get you out here. You can see the timbers that we put up. If you didn't see that part of the video. We still got to screw these tails down here. Get them on center. But let me back up. You can kind of see what we got going on here. Gonna be nice. That's what we're doing. Just me and Tuna today. Big Biscuit had a wedding to go to. My niece's wedding. See them tails, guys? Straight as an arrow. Here's the porch, guys, the back porch. It's uh, 14 by 17. Timber frame on there. Carrying beam and the posts are timber frame. The rest is uh, hemlock. Rafters, uh, the posts and the carrying beam are Douglas fir. And the rafters are hemlock. It'd be nice. We gotta seal that stamp creek too. Coming along, it's gonna be a nice porch. There's a window up there too. Back porch. Just gotta put the eaves on it. Me and Tuna today got them rafters up. They are heavy. Two by sixteens. 2 by 10 by 16 hemlocks. Heavy, heavy. Green. We're up there. Tuna's up there putting the purlins on. Hmm. We put purlins every one foot, guys, just to stiffen things up because we're not putting any plywood or nothing up there. So we run those purlins on one foot centers. They're 1 by 4 purlins. They're uh, made out of Douglas fir. We're going to use hemlock in the back, but that's what we're doing. Getting this, uh, once we get these purlins done, we're done with these porches. Okay, guys, so we got the porches all done. There's the front porch. We got the purlins and everything on. Timber frames all complete. Our customer's going to oil the timbers. He's not going to stain them or nothing. He's going to put an oil on them. Give you a close up of it. There's the mortise and tenon joint. This is stamped concrete. We just haven't sealed it yet. You see inside of this front porch. I'll take you around to the back. I'll take you through the camp. Tuna's cleaning up out here. This is a bigger porch. Same carrying beam. Mortise and tenon right there on both sides. This beam is 14 by 8 and it spans 15 feet. Douglas fir, so it's super strong. This porch is 14 by 17. Give you a little view of it. Tuna sweeping up. There it is.
And that was our week's work this week. We poured one big floor and we did these porches. I cut these trees down last Sunday for this Douglas fir. It's been one week. Tomorrow's Sunday. Today's Saturday, so. There she is, guys. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for watching the video.